What's up coach? Welcome back to our channel. So today I want to talk about my experience in UK Elite Soccer. So the purpose of this video is to give you guys a little bit of an insight what it was like working for UK Elite Soccer and how you can take the things that I'm about to share with you today and implement them into your business. Right, so the purpose of this video is to talk about the positives that I took from working for one of the biggest uh, soccer coaching companies in the United States and also how I took some of those things into my own business and how you can implement those things into your training business to get to the next level. So hopefully you enjoy this video and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. So for those that don't know my background, I spent six and a half years, seven, almost seven years out in the United States, living and coaching, working for a company called UK Elite Soccer. Now, that company at that time were in the top three biggest uh, soccer coaching companies in the entire country. We were in over seven states. Uh, we had a customer base of in the millions and huge, huge company, great experience to work for. And the, the video, the purpose of this video is going to give you a couple of insights into what it was like working for them. They, they currently rebranded. They're no longer called UK Elite Soccer. They're now called, I believe, Still United or Still Soccer, one of the two. Um, but I haven't worked for them in a while, obviously. Um, but I spent seven great years out in the United States living, working, coaching for them. And I'm going to take the, the five best things that I learned from working at UK Elite and how you can implement those things into your, your soccer training business so you can take it to the next level, improve it. And if you want to work with me or you want to learn more how to get my help, visit the description below. That will be the best way for us to connect. Now, the first uh, thing that I really enjoyed and I thought that added a lot of value to me as a coach working at UK Elite was the PD sessions or PD events that the company used to host. So professional development uh, events or sessions were moments where one of the management team would come out and evaluate us on the coaching field. So every two to three weeks, one of our regional managers would come out, would come out and watch us coach, give us feedback, and we would take that feedback and obviously improve as a coach to become more efficient. Now, as well as that, we used to do a seasonal PD event. So sometimes we would head up to the headquarters, which at the time were in New Jersey, and we would do staff training events. So at the start of the summer, when it was going to be a very busy year, at the time of the year, we would all head up to New, the New Jersey office and do a staff orientation week to prepare ourselves for the summer, we would do a regional one uh, for the spring and the fall autumn season. So the things that I, I enjoyed about this and, and how you can implement this into your business is that if you have staff, right, it's really good every so often to provide feedback on their training or how they're doing. That way they can continuously learn from you. You're providing value to, to them as a coach and they are developing when at your company. Now, if you're a coach that runs a business by yourself, you might be thinking, right, well, I can't really evaluate myself uh, every now and again. Uh, but the truth is, well, you can. You can sit down and analyze your training sessions. What did I do well? What didn't I do well? Okay, and you can improve that way. But also, attending PD events or CPD events 
in your local area. Okay, it might be through your local football association, it might be through your, your club that you might be coaching at, or just other events within your area that are football, soccer related, events that you can go to improve, not just as a coach, but also as a business owner. Because I feel that a lot of the time coaches, they spend a lot of time improving their, their coaching skills but they don't spend enough time developing their business skills, which if you are a business owner, you need to develop on a daily basis to get better at the game of business. Okay, so that was the first lesson and the first thing I really enjoyed about working for, for UK Elite was the CPD events, right? The professional development events, uh, coach professional development events that we used to have at the company. And these are things that you can implement with your staff or if you run a business by yourself, you can go to events or kind of evaluate your training on your business skills on a regular basis. Now, the second thing that we did really well at the company were we built partnerships with rec departments. So a lot of the, the camps, the clinics that we used to run in our area were with or in partnership with a recreational departments so the state i was in were at the time was was in maryland and what we used to do we used to partner up with our local rec departments and we used to run a weekly a coaching clinics for players or parents that want soccer within that, that, that area. So Monday to Friday, we used to do clinics or camps, uh, well, clinics in that area. And then when it got to the summer, we used to do uh, holiday camps in partnership with that department. So if you're a coach and you're looking to branch out or you're looking to build your business, then see what local rec departments in your area are currently doing and what can you go in there and add a value to help them, help them, but also become valuable to them. So as I mentioned, we worked with the majority of the, the departments within the Baltimore, uh, Maryland area, and we used to run weekly clinics, we used to do camp events, um, we also used to do uh, recreational summer leagues as well for them. So we used to work in partnership with them. And the reason why they wanted to work with us, because they saw us as the experts in what we do. So if you want to work within an organization, a rec department, a local school, a local club, you've got to add value to their program. But also you've got to demonstrate that you are the expert at what you do and that you provide something that they can't or you're solving a problem for them, okay? So that was the second one. We built a lot of local community partnerships with organizations, uh, clubs that helped us to grow and scale within that region. Now, the third one is we offered multiple services. So we didn't just offer one type of service. We had multiple services that we offered throughout the year and depending on the season. So, for example, in the spring, we used to run uh, clinics for toddlers, which was three to five. Then we used to do weekly clinics for kids that were older. We used to call them YDP events. Um, and then we used to do uh, events at local clubs. So we had a lot of multiple services that we were offering depending on what season it was. We used to do clinics and then in the summer we used to run summer leagues or summer teams and we used to run summer camps. So we constantly offered a variety of services to parents in the local area so that they could work with us and do business with us. We didn't just restrict ourselves to uh, clinics or, or camps, right? We offered multiple services that essentially meant we could work with more parents, 
Okay, we weren't just restricted to one service. So as a coach and a trainer, you might want to look to do the same. So if you're currently only doing one-to-one -one training, what's another service that I can offer so that I can maybe transition into groups or transition into another type of, of service where I can attract parents that want something else and that don't just want one-to-one -one training. Okay, so that was the third one. The fourth one is we essentially became experts in the space that we were in. So as we grew region by region, okay, clubs, so, uh, local rec departments, uh, youth associations, even global uh, companies wanted to do business with us because we were the experts at what we did. Uh, something that we were really good in our region is we used to work with fall only clubs. So for those that aren't in the United States, fall only clubs are essentially uh, clubs that run uh, or that play in the autumn or the fall season. So they'll play in the autumn and fall and then typically players in those teams, what they do in the spring, they go and play another sport. So a lot of players in these teams, they either do lacrosse or soccer. So they'll do lacrosse in the spring, soccer in the fall, or they might do basketball in the spring, soccer in the fall, or vice versa. Okay, so these were players that were were committed in some sense, but they weren't all year round uh, soccer players. But we, what we did really well is we used to go into these clubs and offer our services to their teams because a lot of the teams were coached by volunteer parents. So we added a lot of value to the parents because we took, we pretty much took over the training, we took over the coaching development for that club, and we became experts in what we do best, which is soccer coaching and soccer training. Okay, so that is something that you can do in your business as well. You can become that expert in your space, in your field, so that you can build those those partnerships with local organizations and local clubs such as fall only clubs or if you're in another part of the world maybe in the uk there's a lot of clubs that are run by parent volunteers so parent volunteers run these teams so you can come in and demonstrate your expertise and work with certain teams within that that club okay so become an expert at what you do now the fifth one was strategic partnerships so something the company the company did really well, and this was in various regions, is they bought out smaller clubs or smaller companies, so it grew the uh, the client base. So I remember at the time there was a couple of com uh, smaller companies based out in New York, which UK Elite uh, bought out. So they'd go in, take over the the company, buy them out, and essentially. Uh, that company then became UK Elite and rebranded to uh, our company. Now, that was very strategic because, again, if you're taking over a small company that maybe has a client base of about 100 or 200 clients or customers, okay, that's an extra uh, 200, 300 customers that are coming into your company. So building strategic partnerships or strategic um purchases can be a way for you to grow your business now if you're by yourself you're a sole uh, business owner and you're running one-to-one -one, you're small, you're running small group sessions then you might be thinking right well how can i do that with my business you can do that by collaborating with other trainers in your local area so you might decide to run uh, clinics or camps together throughout the year to build a partnership and get more eyeballs on what you do okay so that would be a strategic way of growing and expanding your business okay so a number of ways that you can you can grow these are essentially the the lessons that i took from working at uk league soccer hopefully this video helps you it's more of an educational video but there's a lot of uh, little nuggets that i've shared with you today that you can go and implement into your business even if you are just running one-on-one -on -one sessions okay you a lot of the lessons that i've shared with you today you can take them implement them 
and grow and scale your business. So if you want more help, visit the description below. Number of ways that I can help you with your soccer training business. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest content.